Welcome back to the third part of the Holly and Berries crocheted stocking. I'm so excited to have you join me today as I share the technique of how to turn a heel. So far, we've already worked up our whole leg and you should now be seamed. And if you're making the easier version, you'll also have added your fringing. Now that you guys that are making your diamond pattern, if you're looking at this thinking, oh my God, that looks so cute, because it does. Don't worry, you've still got time to stitch up another leg <laughs> until the next section of this pattern comes up because this section really doesn't take very long. But I wanted to go through it in a lot of detail so that you're confident in how you do this. If you needed to see the written pattern at any point, don't forget that is linked for you in the description box below. And regardless of which version of the pattern you're using, um, the heel remains the same. I'm gonna be continuing working on my slightly less advanced version of the pattern just because it's the one I've been working on. So if you're making a two color stocking or more, um, you're gonna need your color B. I've done my fringing in my color B and had a bit of um, a yarn explosion when I was doing my fringing. So we're gonna ignore that and try and keep that off screen. So it happens to us all. Still recommend pulling from the center. Um, and what we need to do is to locate our seam and make sure that we're working on the right end. Now, for those of you that have the diamonds in the front, you'll have a longer section underneath your bobbles and that's the bottom of your stocking. Now we're actually gonna turn it around so that we have the right side facing us. And here is our seam, or my seam is here, and we're going to count around from our seam to find the stitch that we're working into. So we're gonna count back to the ninth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's number nine. I'm not going to get a stitch mark, I'm just going to shove my hook in, <laughs> okay? So from our seam, so there's my middle all the way from the seam, we've counted around working back, so counted back really nine stitches and that's where we're going to join. So find your ninth stitch back from your seam and then grab the colour that you're working your heel section in. I'm going to be working with white, which is why I've got such a dark hook, because you can see that against here. Now to join my yarn, I'm just going to place that over my hook with the tail yarn away from me, bring it through and then secure it with my working yarn, working a chain of one. That chain one does not count as a stitch, but from here we are going to work our first stitch back into that same stitch that we've just joined our yarn into. And the stitches for this section is all US single crochet or UK double crochet. So we're just going to reinsert our hook. I'm going to work over this tail and yarn over to bring my loop up, yarn over and pull through two. We're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. So again, I'm just inserting my hook into the next stitch, working over my yarn, my tail, so that we can don't have to worry too much about securing that. And we're working another eight stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And as you can see, or you should be now, back to your seam again. We're not gonna work into the seam, we're gonna skip over it. I don't need to work over that end anymore. We're gonna work into the first stitch of the other side. So we're just skipping over that seam. Now, because this is the wrong side facing on your stocking, you need to tilt your work towards you to find that first stitch. Looks like I've got a stitch there, but that was the chain one of that row. So I'm just gonna insert my hook underneath that stitch. And we're gonna continue by working an additional 10 single crochets. So that was number one. And we just continue working around to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, there we are, nine, and finally number 10. So we have the layout of, there's our seam in the middle, of where our heel is going to be placed. If you were to turn it, it would be at the bottom and we've got our diamonds here or our fringing ready to work. So at the end of row one of your heel, 
you should have 19 single crochets. Going into row two, we start with a chain of one and I'm going to turn my work to work back along because we leave all the other stitches unworked. I'm going to single crochet into that first stitch underneath our chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the next 11 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We're going to leave the remaining seven stitches unworked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's worth double checking that you have seven unworked stitches because you're going to need those because we're going to work into them when we work our short rows. Going into row three, we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're just going to be working in this section here. So we start by single crocheting into the same stitch as our chain one. We're then going to work one single crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And this time we leave these six stitches unworked. So that's one, oh goodness, it's hard to count them when they're white. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we have six unworked stitches on this side and seven on this side. And this is the start of our heel section just here. So going into row four, we begin with a chain of one, and this is where we're going to start attaching our heel back onto our stocking. So this section here will have a stitch count of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Going into row four, this is where we're going to actually start attaching our heel to our stocking. So we start with a chain of one and turn our work, and we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch as our chain one, and then we're going to single crochet into the next five stitches. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And from here, we're going to connect our heel to our stocking by working a single crochet into the next stitch in the row below. And that means the row that's on our stocking already. So you can see that you have a stitch coming out from a previous row in that stitch there. And here are our unworked stitches. So this is the stitch that we're going to work into. So we kind of work, we insert our hook into that stitch in that row below that's already attached to our stocking, yarn over and complete our single crochet as normal. Now I give it a bit of a tighten before I turn to keep that stitch nice and small without affecting the size of the stitch at the top. I'm then going to chain one and we leave the remaining stitches unworked and we now at the end of row four have a stitch count of seven single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So each row we do from now on we're going to place our final stitch into the next stitch in the row below attached to our stocking and that will increase our stitch count by one. So we're going to, oh, I've already chained one, I have, uh, we've chained one, <laughs> we're going to turn our work ready for row five and this time we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch as our chain one before we work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches, so that was one, two, three, four, five, and number six. And then we're going to work that final stitch in the row beneath, or the row that's attached to our stocking. So again, you can see that there's something coming out of this stitch here. So this is the next empty stitch. So we're gonna insert our hook into that empty stitch and complete our single crochet as normal. I'm gonna tighten mine a little bit to keep it nice and small. So at the end of this row, you should now have a stitch count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
So rows 6 to 14, we're going to continue to repeat row 4, the row we've just done. Apart from the number of stitches we need to work across is going to increase by 1 as we work into our heel. Let's do row 6 together and then I'm going to leave you to complete your heel because you've seen how simple it is. So we start with a turning chain of 1. We work one single crochet into the same stitch as that chain one, and then we work a single crochet into each stitch across. The rows are getting longer each time with that extra stitch. And then we work our next or our last stitch into the next open stitch that's already on the stocking. So we kind of come down, you can see that you've got that coming out of your last stitch. So we're inserting our hook and working that last single crochet there. And our stitch count will have increased by one, working that additional stitch. So we're just gonna to continue to repeat that all the way um, across. Each time you work your row back, you'll work and attach into that one. And by row 14, you're just gonna have two stitches remaining. So I'm going to meet you at the end of row 14 when you have one stitch left either side because we need to make sure that we're making as tight a close as we can on our heel because I don't want us having to sew anything up. This pattern's been very specially written so that we save time. I'm not great with my needle. My seam is okay, but I don't like to risk more than I need to. So from here, we're going to be working rows 7 all the way up to 14. So you have eight more rows to do. And by that point, I'm going to meet you back here. So keep working your chain one for your turn and working one single crochet into each stitch across, including into that same stitch as your chain one. And then work your final stitch into the next open stitch on your stocking. Just keep an eye for that um, work coming out of those stitches so you know that you're working it into the right place. Show you once more. You can see there's something coming out of that stitch. So I'm going to come down here and work into the next one. You can see that each time we work that stitch, it starts creating, oh, if I put my hook down, it might look a bit better. And you can see that it's starting to create our heel. And we're just going to keep working across and we'll fill all of this space here as well. So keep working across and I'll meet you at the end of row 14, ready to work the last two rows. So at the end of row 14, you should nearly have a complete heel. Your stitch count should be 17 single crochets because it's increased in each row as we've gone along. And we have one single crochet left on each row. So we're going to chain one and turn for row 15. And we're going to start by working one single crochet into that, ugh, get it through, sorry, into that first stitch underneath our chain. And then we're going to work one single crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. So that's our 16 stitches. And just like before, we're going to single crochet into that last stitch that's already attached to our heel. Now to give this a really nice finish, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch on our stocking. So there's our last join we've just done here. There's the first stitch that we worked onto our stocking and we're going into that next stitch. So we just insert our hook, pull through and pull through the loop on our hook and that just secures that edge down. We can then do our chain one to turn. We're going to skip that slip stitch just underneath our chain one and instead we're going to work into that first stitch. So it's just there, not this slip stitch, the next one across. And then we're going to work 18 single crochets over to the other side. So that's one, two. We have that final stitch here that we need to join to. So we work our last single crochet into the last stitch attached to our stocking. And then just like we did on the previous row, we're going to slip stitch to that next uh, stitch onto our stocking to finish. That's it. That is our heel made. So I'm going to fasten off. Nice long tail so I can weave in. Pull that through with my hook. And there we have our turned heel. It is as simple as that. So you now have a completed leg. 
a whole heel that's attached. It should be nice and centered alongside your seam and so that the edges meet. And that is everything for today. That's all you need to do is to get that heel turned, ready to work your foot onto the next section. So in our next video, I'm going to be showing you how to work your foot on. It will fill this whole space here and come down ready to work our toe. And finally, of course, we need to still add our hanging loop. So I'm excited to hear how you've got on working your very own turned heel. Don't forget to get your end woven in. And I'm going to see you in the next video where we're going to be adding our foot on, ready to then work our toe and finally our hanging loop. So I will see you very soon in the next video.